What's up and welcome. So today we're going to be doing a slightly different video, something I don't normally ever do. Um, so I figured to give it a quick video intro, um, a workout video. So with weather like today, get outside, do some exercise, do some circuit training. I'm a bit overweight as it is, by about a stone. So follow me outside, do some workout videos, and if you guys like it, I can maybe post an update in like two weeks' time when maybe I'm a bit fitter. But you'll see what I mean. The circuits are pretty. Hardcore. So yeah, enjoy. Hey, so uh, I didn't explain very well in the intro what this is. This is basically a circuit training workout. So if you don't know what circuits are, they're pretty much you do a bunch of exercises in a row and um, you, you loop them around. So I think I've got six exercises in this circuit. And so you do one lot of six exercises, you get a break. You do another lot of six exercises, you get a break. And this is a killer. Um, so I start off with jumping uh, burpees. Um, so as you can see, I'll explain how to do each movement as you go through. So you can do this workout in your own garden. There's no really excuses if it's nice and hot. You can get uh, like fit for summer. Well, it's already kind of summer now. It's like bloody 22 degrees doing this video. I get I get really hot. Um, so yeah, the music kicks in in a minute as well. So you can enjoy that. So yeah, jumping burpees are basically a squat thrust with a jump at the end. So you put, as you see, I'm kicking my legs out behind me, going to a standing position and then jumping at the top. Uh, this is a great full body one, it, it, it kills, it burns. Uh, so you do, what I'm doing is I'm doing 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off every exercise. So 30 seconds of those is my first exercises and then I'll have a break. So I've got my phone, so I'm to keep checking that for the stopwatch and I'll go back to it. So this, this exercise does pretty much everything. Um, does your shoulders, your back, your legs, it's, it hurts. Um, and then I go into walking lunges, which you'll see any second now, I've had, had a break. So these kills, you want to lunge, walk forward and lunge your leg, um, trailing your one behind you, and you want your knee to just stay off the floor. So if you walk around, and there we go, so you can see my back leg is just staying a little bit off the ground by about I don't know, a centimetre, and this will really start to burn your upper leg, like a lot. So you can see I'm just, I'm just feeling it now. The first circuit is generally sort of just a warm-up, getting into it, um, and then it starts to really hurt. So that is exercise number two. So do that for 30 seconds. So literally all you need to do this is a stopwatch and a garden or a wreck or a playing field. Do it. You can do it with your friends if you want. It's, normally I do it with my friend, um, but he's away at the moment. So, um, And they're pretty good fun when you do it with a mate because you like challenge each other to do more and work out harder. So it's good stuff. Uh, the next exercise is push-ups. So we go from sort of full body and lower leg stuff to upper body for three exercises and then back to legs. So we just do push-ups. So most people do these wrong. Um, so you want to keep your back as straight as possible and try and go all the way down so that your nose touches the floor um, pretty much and then come back up again. You don't ever want to like slack. If you can't do too many, that's fine. Um, hop onto your knees after you've like struggled and then start uh, doing push-ups on your knees. Just don't stop for the 30 seconds otherwise you're, you're only cheating yourself if you do. And nearly done. Done about 30 or so by now, about one a second. And just check the time. Yeah. The next exercise is mountain climbers. Now, um, you've got to do these right because you won't really feel them. So I'm doing them side on to show you how to do them clearly. Um, they're a pretty good exercise. And through this, I drink like a litre of water in 20 minutes. So it's a killer. And now the music's kicking in, so you can do that as well. Right, so mountain climbers. What you do here is you want to bring your leg up to as, hard, as far up as you can and hold it there for about half a second and pull it back down and this will work your legs a little bit, your upper body and it will start tensing on your abdominals. So you should feel it on your upper abs as you're doing this. So this is like the two abs section of it and it will also work your shoulders quite a bit as well because you're having to hold your body in that sort of planked position. So each rep is a crunch, do that for 30 seconds. then 30 seconds rest. The next exercise will be the plank. Now, this is quite a good exercise. Um, even though you're not moving for it, um, your muscles are still contracting, especially your abdominals. Um, so what you want to do with it is you want to make sure that your back is nice and straight. Um, you don't want it to sink into the ground, but then you also don't want it to be in the air because you won't be working them properly. You want to feel your abs tense at all times when doing this, and it'll, it'll start to burn, providing mountain climbers and um, lows. Here we go now. As you can see my back isn't sinking too behind to the ground. 
and I'm not trying to raise my legs too far in the air. And with that, you, you really start to feel it. So they're contracting really hard to just try and keep your body off the ground. And the more you weigh, the harder this will be. So I'm 15 stone. So this is uh, pretty tough. So just keep checking the time. <laughs> Sinking a little bit now and then I give up at the end, right, after 30 seconds. Next is back to legs. So normally I would do like sprints or ladder runs or something like this, but I don't have much space in this bit because normally I go to a field. So instead I just do high knees, um, which I have some horrific grimace doing, but they're, they're, at this point you're starting to get a little bit tired and hot, so these hurt. So with high knees you want to get your knees pretty m as, as high as you can basically. So pretty much to parallel, so you can see I'm just bouncing them up. And this will work on your calves, your upper legs, and throughout the whole thing, I'm pretty much just constantly out of breath from this point onwards. And um, for the next 15 minutes, I'm just panicking. But it's really good, it'll, it'll seriously improve your fitness doing these things. And you can do less exercise if you want, you can do more exercise, and you can just gradually increase it as you get better. So. You can, I'm starting off with 30 seconds and hopefully by two weeks time I'll be able to do 45 seconds to a minute or, or maybe just do more exercises in one circuit or do more circuits, anything just to try and improve it. Um, and these are just ultimate fat burners, these workouts, that they really are. Because basically they're sort of, it's not long slow cardio like riding a bike for two hours, it's, it's proper, it'll just destroy you within 20 minutes. Um, and they're good for building up muscle, um, toning out muscle and pretty much just shredding weight. Especially if, as long as you eat healthily afterwards. You can't just go and eat a cake straight after to defeat its purpose. Right, jumping squats now. These destroy you afterwards. So you want to go down to a squatting position and then explode out a bit, kicking with your hip like calves at the end to get like a nice plyometric effect. Um, these, oh my god. At the end of that, it's, it, it hurts. So I'm just trying to do as many as I can within 30 seconds. This will work your whole of your legs, everything. You'll be you'll be shattered. And now I've got a um a one minute break off the circuit, and I'm pretty hot now. So forgive me, it's like 22 degrees outside, and I'm I'm sweating. So you can see I'm a bit overweight. So maybe by two weeks time, if you enjoy this workout video, then I'll do another one, and you can see how much my fitness has improved. So yeah, just burning in the sun now. It's pretty hot for the UK, so I'm like trying to make the most of it and just panting out of breath, as you can see, <laughs> waiting my one minute till my next round of exercise, and they start to get harder and harder. So I do, um, each time I change my angle, so you can see, um, like, different directions for the exercise, so you can get a clear idea of how to do them correctly. So again, first things first, it's the squat thrust, which is uh, pretty, pretty hard. So I think I've had about a minute now nearly, it will be in a second, I'm breathing. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully this, this video will inspire you maybe to go outside and do some exercise. Because honestly, you feel so good afterwards. So here we go, side on squat thrust, you can see how I'm doing them. So legs back, jump out of it. Whole body is being used here. You can just do the bottom exercise part if you want. So you can just do that pounding bit there. And you can don't even have to stand up. Or you can do the bit where you just stand up and don't jump if you're, if you're really tired out. Um, it's up to you, but this one is like just does everything. Music is courtesy of my brother, by the way, so go and check out his channel. His link will be in the description. Getting pretty good at his EDM stuff. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting there. I'm starting to get tired now. Not even halfway through. Right, that's the first exercise of the second circuit, and we've got three to do. So. Whew. Checking my timer, getting ready for lunges. And here we go. So go deep on these as you can. Just don't, just keep your knee off the floor. And walking along, it will cane. So yeah, don't, hopefully you'll, you'll find this interesting compared to regular Minecraft videos, because this is like, this is pretty much everything I do outside of um, making YouTube videos. I literally just work out. Uh, and that's it, <laughs> pretty much. I've just been a bit um, greedy with the ice cream lately, which is why I'm a bit chubs. 
but hopefully this will tone me out. Drink it, make sure you drink constantly of this as well. I, I drink so much during this. Because um, if you don't, you'll just get headaches, you'll get knackered out, you'll feel, you'll feel horrible if you don't drink. And make sure it's water as well. You don't want any fizzy drinks and stuff while you're doing this because you'll just feel like you're going to throw up. Not even squash, I'd say. I'd just say go straight for water. Okay, back to push-ups. So I'm, I'm only good at these because I've done like three years of training in a gym. Um, so don't worry if you can't do that many. They, they are pretty hard if you've never really done any push-up or chest training as before. Don't be surprised if you can't even do ten. I mean... They, they can be pretty tough. So just if, just do as many as you can properly and then go into your knees and just pound them out until until you're suffering, pretty much. It's the whole point of this. Just getting a bit of a rest. <laughs> And then we'll go back into mountain climbers again. So we'll see him from the front this time. So I bring my knees quite high up. And as you can see, like my shoulders and my back are working. And my arms are definitely working. I'm feeling it in my biceps and my triceps. Um, and you, you'll feel it the next day, trust me. So this is... All of these exercises put together make for a good full body just burner. Stretching out. My face is getting gradually redder and redder. <laughs> uh, and I'm starting to sweat quite a lot now. That's why I took off my shirt. It's just so, like, it's too hot to be wearing clothes. Especially doing this kind of thing. So another rest, and then I'm going into the plank. So I'm starting it now. There we go. You can just see that my back is you can not quite see my bum, which is what you kind of want. You want to just be able to sort of have a level thing so you can't quite see. I'm just kind of keeping pumped up so I don't fall to the ground. It's starting, starting to hurt now. There we go. Time's up. Now for the, uh, these, I hate these high knees, my god, they, I, I loathe them, <laughs> but the ones you hate the most are the ones that do you the best, so, uh, and that's what's coming next, you can see me properly straining my face doing these, and I nearly fall over, actually, because my legs are wobbling so much at the end of it, um, but it's worth it, hopefully it'll give me the full ripped out abs thing. Here we go. So as again, you see, you want to try and keep them parallel, or try and just try and get them to parallel to the ground, because that way you're really like pounding your legs. And as you can see, at each rep, my calves are tensing. So you know, it's really. See, I'm falling backwards here. I'm like leaning so much. Um, these are good. If you don't want to do these, you can replace them with sprints or anything. There's there's tons of different exercises you can do. So if you guys are interested, I'll post a video of a bunch of different exercises you can do. So you don't have to do the same circuit every day, so you can do all kinds of ones, but this is just the one I chose to do because it's pretty all round. So right, jumping squats now and starting to see me breathing so heavily. <laughs> 30 seconds nearly up. So it's always good to if you don't have a friend, you can time each other then it's so much easier. So you can get a rest time, a rest time. And you don't have to worry about keep checking your, your stopwatch or your phone or whatever. Okay, so jump shots from the front. You can see my, back, my legs are about shoulder width apart. And I'm really powering through the ground. I've got my arms in front of me so I don't get any like bonus momentum from this. It's all leg power, explosive. And these... Oh, God. They're horrific, I tell you. <laughs> but they're great at the same time. This will, this will start building your legs up a lot. You don't want them spaghetti legs. Um, don't want them to snap. And that's nowhere near 30 seconds, but my arm just like, so like, can I end? Please, can it end? 
and there I'm done. Oof. So after this, I have a one minute break. No, a two minute break after this one because it's my final. No, is it a one minute? That's my second round, isn't it? So yeah, I've got a two minute break after this. So I cut it, don't worry. And you can hear my breathing in a second because I cut the audio in. <laughs> This is where it starts to hurt. Oh. And yes it does. So here we go. More mountain climbers. I mean not mountain climbers, squat for us. And you see I'm stumbling there because that's how tired I am. Um, just jumping it out. So as you go on and on you'll start to lose, lose the will to live. But just keep going and trust me it's worth it. So if you want to write the names of the exercises down, this one is the squat thrust. I mean not squat thrust, it's the jumping burpee. So you can look it up online as well for there'll be loads of them. Um, or just a burpee. Then there'll be it, like drawn diagrams and stuff for it. So this is a good this is a good workout to do if you're young as well, especially because it won't damage your joints or anything like weight training will when you're young. Um, you don't need to go to a gym, you can do it anywhere, you can do it with your friends. Um, it's just something to do if you're bored. So if you've got half an hour in the morning, you can just kill it doing this. And it's definitely worth it. Walking lunges now. Valley's a burden. It's all good. Getting your legs activated. You also get to get some kind of tan while you're working out. Although I'm sort of failing at that one, I'm a bit pale. <laughs> and I'm dead. <laughs> it's funny watching this back actually. Drinking more, that bottle is nearly empty now. Panning the whole way. And push-ups. Last set of these. These are the easiest exercises for me, but for a lot of people, these will be one of the hardest. So just bear that in mind that the strength takes it takes a long time to build. After this workout, as well, you want to probably try and try and have some kind of protein. So I don't know. Ask your mum to have like eggs or something. Any any good protein will do. Because that way you're going to start instantly repairing your muscles. Because um, all that protein will just be injected straight into them, pretty much. Because you've got like your heart still racing, the blood still going around your body. Your metabolism is still nice and fast because you've just finished. So that's where protein shakes come in pretty handy. Need done that for mountain climbers. few seconds. There we go. Don't no worry, this is where your abdominals will start to hurt. You can you can check it's good to chain exercises together that work the same groups and muscles because then you really get them tired out. Or alternatively if you want to split them up you can do that as well. So that like especially near the end if you're really suffering you want to keep going. If you've got a gap where you've gone from legs to upper body back to legs then it gets a bit of a rest time. Well, I kind of like to pair them. And now I'm really hot. For the UK, this is like ridiculous weather. <laughs> Come on, boy, you can do it. Blank time. Well, I'm grimacing here, but thankfully you can't see. <laughs> if you're not, if you're not gurning your face, you're not working hard enough, really. 
you should look like you're in absolute agony when you're doing this. And then, and then you're doing it right. Scrambling up. Nearly done. And that we are. So we've got um, high knees and then uh, jumping squats. And then we're done. And this is where... Oh god. I'm just dying here. Keep going, keep you going. Music might motivate you as well when you're doing this, but I didn't really want to play any out in my garden. I don't have, I don't have a boombox, sadly. One more exercise. Here we go. So remember, leg shoulder width apart, really power through. You really want to make the most of it. If you, if you don't try your hardest, you're only cheating yourself pretty much. So drive, drive, drive. Try and do as many as you possibly can. And that'll be all for me on this side. Um, and back to me in the IRLs. Well, on the, on the, on the face camera thingy. Give me a sec. That is a circuit training workout. I sit down. So yeah, it killed me. So, give it a try at home if it's sunny in the garden. You don't need much space. And if you like the video, I'll, I'm doing an update in two weeks and see if I'm less out of breath now. <laughs> and see how much fitter I look. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed a different video. This is what I do in real life, it's like, if anything is more important than YouTube for me. So I thought I'd show you. Bye.